Millions of people suffer from stomach pain, bloating, indigestion, acid reflux, and what they don't know is that what they're feeling is called gastritis. Gastritis is known to be the inflammation of your gastric tissue, mostly localized in your stomach with terrible consequences if you're not doing something to treat it. Leaving it untreated can cause serious damage to your stomach and generate extreme pain, ulcers, and even cancer, especially if you don't know what to eat. The secret to treating gastritis is knowing exactly what your diet should look like and what home remedies you can use to eliminate this digestive condition once and for all. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal what you should be eating for gastritis and how you could treat it naturally and effectively. Hey guys, Dr. Gus here, naturopath, acupuncturist, conventional doctor, and founder of DrLandivar.com. In this channel, as a conventional doctor, treating patients through natural medicine before recurring to the use of pharmaceutical drugs. So if you're new to my channel, consider subscribing and press that bell down below to see your notifications and be the first one to watch a new video. If you need a line of important quality supplements for your disease, visit DrLandivar.com and stay till the end of this video. I'm going to share extra tips and video links related to this topic. Gastritis has never been a problem as the way we see it today. The incredible amount of junk food that we are eating, coupled with genetically modified grains, maybe oils and toxins, destroy the digestion of millions of people around the world. We tend to forget that our digestive organs are very susceptible to inflammatory foods that, by the way, we are consuming in large amounts today. Believe it or not, the secret to eliminating stomach pain, acid reflux, bloating, and most digestive conditions starts with food. Food is the most important factor tied to gastritis and any digestive problem you might have. So in today's video, I'm going to reveal what you should be eating to treat gastritis and how you can solve it naturally and effectively. Number one, foods you need to avoid. If you really want to see stomach pain, acid reflux, and bloating disappear, you need to start with diet. Forget medical treatment. If you're not changing the food or the way you are eating, it's almost impossible for you to get rid of this condition. Number two, say goodbye to coffee. Coffee is the second most popular beverage in the world, but it's also one of the most irritating for anyone suffering from gastritis. Now, curiously, coffee in general is one of the most important foods you should be avoiding, but even worse if coffee itself is instant coffee, processed coffee. Organic coffee, by the way, is the less damaging, but it's still a problem if you have inflammation in your stomach. Now, the sad part is that many people with gastritis consume coffee every day, and they don't realize that it can worsen their symptoms. It doesn't really matter if your coffee is decaf or not. It can still trigger pain and still cause problems. So pay attention and try to reduce coffee consumption. Try to change it with green tea, maybe camel milk, which have 40% lower risk of worsening your digestive condition. Number three, say goodbye to wheat. Wheat is one of the worst foods you can eat if you're suffering from stomach pain or gastritis. Believe it or not, for many of my patients, I've seen their problem disappear simply by eliminating wheat from their diets. Now, this is still a mystery because wheat consumption didn't used to be such a problem in the past. People in the past would never say that wheat could actually cause gastritis. Sadly enough, gluten consumption is becoming a serious problem for millions of people around the world. It may cause, for example, digestive problems, diarrhea, stomach pain, thyroid conditions, you name it. So believe me, if you really want to alleviate your situation, try eliminating breads, pasta, and wheat consumption. Number four, say goodbye to milk and dairy products. For years, doctors used to tell gastritis and ulcer patients to drink milk in order to coat the stomach and help block the effects of acid. The problem is that we now know that this is not true. As a matter of fact, it's a complete opposite. Experts now believe that milk's calcium and amino acids actually stimulate the release of more acid production and can make gastritis symptoms even worse. I personally suggest you eliminate milk and dairy products altogether. Forget them. Apart from triggering the production of more acid, 
there's a lactose intolerance possibility that may create inflammation in your intestines and worsen your symptoms. So go ahead and say goodbye to dairy. Yogurt, cheese, milk, kefir, anything you need that has dairy, leave it aside. Now what I do suggest you do is consume a good probiotic formula. A formula that comes in a pill, in a capsule, that can reduce inflammation and alleviate gastritis. Try to look for ProBillion from Finland at DrLandivar.com. ProBillion contains more than 18 different types of bacteria with more than 50 billion units per capsule. They come in a delay-release capsule for better effect and better action. Number five, say goodbye to spicy foods. Spicy foods are another very important group of foods you need to watch out for. Any irritation in your stomach causes a reaction. It's as simple as that. Strictly speaking, spicy or hot foods are not directly responsible for gastritis, but they do irritate the stomach and may worsen your symptoms. This means that if you want to cure gastritis, you need to stay away from any type of you know, hot peppers, maybe chili, maybe red or black pepper, hot sauces, etc. All these foods are a no-no. Number six, citrus fruits and tomatoes. Citrus fruits, including for example oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruits, you name them, can make your symptoms worse. On the other hand, vegetables, including tomatoes, are also acid-forming foods, which also worsen your symptoms. Watch out for these ingredients. Do not add them to your diet. Number seven, start drinking cabbage juice. Cabbage juice is commonly used as a home remedy for gastritis, and many people don't know this. This vegetable contains many powerful antioxidants and other essential nutrients, including vitamin B1, B2, magnesium, calcium, and dietary fiber. But the best part is that it's still unknown how cabbage juice protects the stomach lining and treats gastritis or ulcer formation. It's even been linked to lowering blood cholesterol or even protecting you against H. pylori, which is one of the main causes for gastritis. Now, if you're going to use it, I suggest you prepare one entire liter of cabbage juice, cabbage juice extract, and drink it throughout the day. Believe me, it's very effective. Number eight, avoid eating close to bedtime. For thousands of years, humans have adapted their meals to be eaten during the day and let the digestive system rest at night. Now, if this is something we have adapted to, this means it's also healthy because your human body is used to this. You should be eating your meals before sunset, not later than 7 p.m., not at 8, not at 10, not at 11, not before you go to bed. That's not a good choice. Number nine, reduce stress, quit smoking, and drink enough water. These are all common sense things we should all be doing. Any of these factors, meaning stress, smoking, or drinking, you know, not enough water, are important pillars that might get you sick. Stress, for example, can disrupt the release of stomach acid and raise inflammation. Smoking can trigger gastritis, and not drinking enough water is a basic need for proper digestion. There's no way around that. Never forget this. And help out the channel by giving this a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. And if you have any questions, leave your comments down below and I'd be happy to assist you. If you need quality supplements for your disease or a line on appointment, visit drlandavar.com. And right over here, check out these other videos related to stopping for information that might prevent a serious health condition in the future. Thanks for watching, you guys, and I'll see you soon.